when we first began to study with with David, and I was fortunate enough to learn um, to attend a session with with uh, with Deming and with Myron Tribus, and they would say that it would be at least three to five years before you could see any kind of transformation. And being a, a little arrogant, perhaps I thought, oh, it, well, you cer certainly we'll see that happen much qu much more quickly than that. Well, now that it's um, Gosh, 20 years later, um, I realize we're, ne we're never going to get to it, uh, that there is never a, an end point, and that's, that's exciting. That's exciting that there's always going to be new things that we can do, but knowing we have the tools to get there, but it makes it, makes it all the work worthwhile because you know you're working on the right things. You're working on things that that are worth working on. There are things that are important. They're not just how do you um, get students to be um, more compliant and to, in fact, take less ownership, to rob them of that, but how can you get them to be more and more capable? And that's pretty exciting. We had um, several instances where we would have students who would leave our district and go somewhere else. And we would get phone calls of, what do you all do there? This child's wanting to know where his diagnostic testing is. He, how is he supposed to know what he's supposed to learn if he doesn't have this test to take to diagnose where he is in the expectations of the learning? Well, that makes you feel pretty good, especially on those times when you think, are we getting anywhere yet? Because it is, I said, a long journey and you don't get there. But over time, you see a group of, of, of people and students who just live this way. But it does not happen overnight. Mm 